Dave Rubin has had uh, quite the career arc, if I don't say so myself. As you all know, he started out on the Young Turks Network, and he was uh, fancied himself a progressive. Um, then, over time, that changed a little bit. He uh, had his disagreements with the Young Turks, specifically over the issue of Israel and over the issue of Muslims. He sided with Sam Harris when Sam Harris uh, was debating Jenk on issues of Israel, Palestine, and Muslims. And uh, he sort of had this awakening, and he became almost kind of like a new atheist-type character, and perhaps an enlightened centrist, you could call him at the time. But then over time, he did another transition. I'm the classical liberal who says nothing but conservative things all the time. I'm the liberal who tells conservatives they're right about everything. And now that mask has slipped too, and he's just like, I'm a basic standard conservative Republican, right? But one of the things that's been consistent every step of the way is he does this whole shtick about, who me, bro? I'm all about, like, live and let live, homie. That's my thing. I don't want to mess with you. You don't want to mess with me. That's how you build a civil, civilized, rational society, bro. Live and let live, dog. Well, guess what? Here we are in the year of our Lord, 2024. And Dave Rubin hits us with this. If you just believe that taxes are important, then you can go to... We have 37 some odd states that have income tax. And then you, your hope is that they will distribute that money properly. And in most cases, they just absolutely do not. But interestingly, I don't think I've talked about this publicly before. I'm not really for the recreational legalization really? of weed. This is something I've shifted on a little bit. I'm running out of ways to talk about Dave Rubin, bro. I'm running out of ways. The whole th live and let live, classical liberal, individual liberty and rights and freedom, bro. He's, uh, yeah, I'm against legal recreational weed. Bitch, what the fuck? What the fuck? Why stop there, Dave? Why should alcohol be legal? Alcohol's a worse drug by every single way you measure it compared to weed. Should we ban alcohol? Because there are some alcoholics going around and it causes some societal problems? What, what is this? Oh my God, he's so unserious. He's so unserious. He switches, like, ideologies and policy positions and lanes like he changes fucking shoes, bro. Homie, you're in your 40s, or is it 50s now? Probably 40s. You're in your 40s. You jump from thing to thing like this. Like you're having a religious transition. I dropped Christianity and I went to Hinduism. This is how you... This is what you do with, like, actual policy perspectives. Why should anybody... What the fuck are you going to say next week now? What are you going to say next week? Why should anybody listen to what you have to say now? Oh my God. Jesus Christ. The one thing... He would always do this thing like... When he pretty much fully became conservative, he would always do this one thing where he's like, well, I'm a little different where... I'm, you know, I'm still... I'm still kind of okay with abortion even though it's bad, but I'm still kind of okay with it. But really, I'm so live and let live that like, you know, we should be legal and things like that. Now, that's out the window too. Look, I, my guess is this is coming from his attempt to pander to his audience, which has now just become the dumbest conservative Republicans in history, right? And only they could look at could look at Dave Rubin and be like, yeah, he's spitting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good point, Dave. <laughs> only they could look at him and think that. But that's my guess as to where this is coming from. But here, let's let him flesh it out. Every state that has legally done it seemingly has gotten worse. Show me a what city. by worse? By what outcome it, measurement? It, it, if you go to New York City right now, every street corner smells like weed. <laughs> Bro, every state that's done this has gotten worse. He's like, by what empirical measure are you saying it's worse? He's like, it smells like weed? Oh, okay, Dave. Well, in that case, <laughs> what a fucking clown. That. With that yeah. comes some other stuff. So I'm not against marijuana. I'm not against what you what do. do you mean, with... what, what do you mean comes other stuff? He says I'm not for legal recreational weed. Then he goes, I'm not against marijuana. Well, that's the definition of being against it if you say you're not for legal recreational weed. Oh, my God. By the way, this guy is Peter Bogosian. He's like a famous uh, atheist type. It starts other... becoming some other drugs. Like there's just kind of kids stoned around a little bit more. <laughs> I, I don't think that there's a perfect answer for this one. But... By the way, just so everybody knows, there were definitely never kids stoned around when weed was illegal. I certainly don't remember myself at a time when weed was illegal, uh, you know, walking around my high school high as balls. I don't, that never happened. That never happens with kids walking around. So. Because I, I'm definitely more libertarian and live and let live and what ah. you do in your house is up to you. No, 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 Dave. No, Dave. You don't get to do that. You don't get to do that. Bro, I'm libertarian, live and let live, but ban uh, weed? That's not, that's the fucking opposite. That's authoritarian. That is not live and let live. Oh my, you can't do that. You can't do that. I'm still this thing that's the exact opposite of what I just said. 
No, you're not. But I just know. I think it's just obvious. If you see, look at Los Angeles, look at California, or look at New York, look at your former city of Portland, look at Seattle. All of these places that did this, they all got worse. It's just obvious. That was it's just obvious. If look at it, look at it, Dave. This is not a fucking argument. This is not an argument. Can, can you do just the tiniest amount of fucking research before you run your mouth? Just the tiniest amount. One fucking Google search. Can I get one Google search? <laughs> Bro, it's obvious. Look at the place. What the fuck is that? We're supposed to take that seriously? Oh my God. Just wildly disconnected and it's a total uh, coincidence and I don't think it is, then I think you, you've you got to figure out how to manage these things properly. That that's a, It's a tough one for me as, because what? I believe in civil liberties and, and you ah. should do whatever you basically you want with your body. Ah. As well. It's tough for me because, you know, I said I believed in the exact opposite of what I'm advocating for now, but apparently I don't. <laughs> uh, this guy This guy's dumbfounded by his stupidity. I love this. Alternative of making pot legal illegal has worked in my lifetime I'm well i don't i'm not for making it illegal but i think <laughs> <laughs> this guy's such a mess bro well you said it shouldn't be legal recreationally so that means by definition you're saying it should be illegal recreationally and he's like i don't really think that works we locked up a bunch of innocent people you know it, it had horrible outcomes and he's like i'm not very illegal bro i just said that but i'm now saying that i didn't say that i don't have a major problem with either the license right the the license and then some some level of control as it relates to the to the stores or something like that. Yeah. All right. So it's not a part. I haven't fleshed this. So, way. so he he's either saying we should have legal medical weed. He's either saying or that legal medical weed, or he's saying you can like decriminalize it but don't legalize it. He's saying one of those things, but he doesn't. Like this just goes to show you how bad he is at this job. He literally doesn't have the ability to just say that. I want it legal for medical purposes. He didn't say that. And he didn't say, I want to decriminalize, but not legalize. He doesn't know the term decriminalize. And he doesn't know legal for medical use only. He has to come up with this weird thinking he's describing some like new position that nobody's ever had. Oh my God. All right. So look, here we go. This will be my last point in this. This doesn't require much of a, much of a reaction. This map right here shows you the current status of weed in this country at the state level. Okay. The dark green is legal for adult recreational use. The slightly lighter green is legal for medical use only. Then you have an even lighter green. Only low THC is medically legal. Then you have totally banned, no program for legal recreational weed, no program for legal medical weed. Okay. This is the map. This shows you where we're at in the U.S. as of 2023. Okay. What can we see here? All right. Legal for recreational use. How many places? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, I think 22. It looks like 22, nearly half of the states, nearly half of the states already have legal recreational marijuana. Is it your contention, Dave Rubin, that all those 22 states have gone to shit because of legal recreational weed? Is that what you're telling us? That is what you just told us. This is just a rhetorical question. This is what you just told us. All 22 states, all, they've all gone to shit as a result of legal... Again, how am I supposed to take this seriously? He brings up like a couple cities that he personally doesn't like because he sees some fucking videos online of some homeless people and he's like, oh, the world's going to hell, right? Just classic boomer idiot response. And America has fallen because of legal weed. Okay, dude. Okay. Look, I'll rest my case. You guys make your own mind up. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.